review video as promised. If you've not seen my past video, which is the review of the Sephora Favourites Draw the Line little eyeliner set, then definitely go check that out. I'll leave a link in my description box so you can go have a little look at that. But today we are here going to be talking about another Sephora Favourites kit that came out for the holidays of 2014, and this is the Sephora Give Me More Lip Set Kit. This was available as part of the holiday collection, so I presume they are not renewing it and getting more stock in for the new year. So unfortunately, I don't think you'll be able to get this from now. But I did post my What I Got For Christmas and asked you guys if you'd like to see the individual colours and my review on each individual product in here. And you guys did say you would like to, so I thought I would definitely come on here and do this. I should imagine this is still available online and if it is I'll leave a link in the description box. Also my UK viewers and friends, we can get this shipped to the UK um, for a price now on Sephora. Um, which is really great. I think it's like £10 flat uh, international shipping, which is pretty cool um, considering, you know, you get lots of brands that you can't get here. But there is a catch. It's not all of their products on there. It's only some of them, which I think is pathetic, but there's obviously a reason behind it. But I just thought I'd let you know, and if it is available, I will leave the link down below. So, actually getting into the kit, I absolutely love the packaging of this kit. I love the sort of theme they've gone to. It's very, like, Moroccan sort of style with the gold and the different patterns. I kind of love it. This was actually $59. Um, but it says that this whole value of this kit comes to 192 US dollars. I just think that that's really great and you get 17 different products in here, all of different colours which I'll go into in a minute, which is just so great. So my UK friends, let's ask Siri how much 59 US dollars is. Siri, how much is 59 USD in GBP? Let's see. 59 US dollars converts to about 38.92 British pounds. There we go. It's about £40 for this kit and you do get 17 products like I said so I think that is very fair, fair pricing. Okay so actually getting into the kit it opens up like so and then there has oh bloody lovely glare lovely glare on there. Um, <laughs> it has all of your products actually in this gold um, sheet. So the way it's divided is you have different sections so oh, I'm holding it upside down. Well done Amy. So up here you have your nude section, you have five products in there. They throw in a bonus lip liner up here which is pretty cool, it's the only one in the kit. You have your pink section, your berries and then you have your reds which I think is really nice. They've laid it out nice and easy and simple for you to see. Um, and it sort of gives it versatility so everyone, you know, some people might prefer nudes, some people might prefer reds, and you've got an equal amount of each so you get the chance to try new colours but you also get the chance to enjoy colours that you know you're going to like. The way I have done this review is I have done lip swatches of me actually wearing all of these different products. I did them just before I filmed this and my lips are in hell, they are burning, they are so painful. Um, so please do bear in mind, come the end, sort of halfway through to the end of the pictures, my lips get very, very sore. Um, they don't look as awesome as they did at the beginning of the video, um, but I did um, try and wipe off all the product as I could, so I do look a little bit red just because my lips are getting very sore at that point. But uh, nevertheless, I still took a picture of each product for you guys and also I took the pictures just to know all on the same setting on my camera, the same lighting. I did not use flash, I used my set ring light um, so it is a set lighting. I set the aperture settings exactly the same so every picture is taken in the same conditions so it will be a great way for you guys to compare between different colours and the textures and the flashback, how much shine comes off of them, how matte they are, um, etc. So I thought I would do it that way. Alright, so let's just get into the products individually. Now this may be a little bit of a lengthy video, I do apologise, but feel free to skip certain products if you're not that interested in them. Um, but let's just get started. The first product we have in here is the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip, and this is in the shade, I think it's just called 3C? I'm not too sure. It's a waterproof lip liner, uh, and this is a very nice sort of nude. It's very nice. It's not pinky, it's not yellowy, it's not brown. It's sort of just a mix it all together individual sort of in the center nude. And for the purpose of the picture, I put this all over my lips, but I would strongly not recommend doing that because it was very, very drying. I imagine this would be a very nice as just a lip liner accompanied by a lovely other nude, but do not put it all over your lips. It was very drying. It was very sort of 
tightening. It was not a nice sensation whatsoever. Next product you get in here is a little Too Faced lipstick in Naked Dolly. Now I was kind of upset about this because I only have one lipstick from this line and it is Naked Dolly. I actually already have this as a full size product which I was kind of disappointed in because I was like I didn't get to try something new but nevertheless kind of cute little handbag size I guess. Um, this product overall is such a beautiful colour but I have never really been a fan of the formula ever since the day I bought it. It is very glossy and I feel like it sort of sits on top of your lips rather than sort of sink into them and actually on them. Very glossy so it moves and it comes off very very quickly so it's sort of a quick apply take a photo sort of lipstick. It's not a last all day lipstick. The next product you get in here is a Bare Minerals lipstick and I really enjoyed this one. This one's in the shade Moxie. It is a beautiful colour. It's one of my favourite colours that is in here and this smells just like a MAC lipstick and I'm not gonna lie to you the formula is just like a cream sheen lipstick from MAC. To be honest I would not know the difference. If you put this product into MAC packaging I would believe it's a MAC lipstick without a doubt. The next thing in here is a Laura Mercier lip glaze and this one is in blush. Now I this is very very sheer. I was doing a Paris Hilton inspired look the other day just on myself um, and I sort of, if you sort of know Paris Hilton's sort of everyday look, she wears a very sort of nude sheer gloss. Like you can tell it's nude but it's very sheer um, and I straight away went to go grab this when I was doing a sort of recreation of her look. The formula is nice, it goes on and looks really wet but does not feel wet but doesn't feel sticky. So I do like this and it leaves a nice like top layer, like some glosses sort of sink in and everything, this sort of stays flat and gives you a really nice glazed look over your lips. Next product in here is one I was very excited to try, this is the Stila Stay All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss and this one is in the shade Nude, it's a very pinky nude and it is very very pretty. Now when I applied this I didn't enjoy applying it, I liked the finish of it but I did not enjoy applying it simply because the formula is very, very gloopy. Um, it's sort of between the formula of, it's the formula of a NYX Extreme Lip Cream, but it does have great pigmentation to this one, but the thing I did not like about it is the wand. Um, I thought it would be a standard sort of um, application wand, but it is very, very flexible. It can move very, very easily. Um, and when you're trying to apply, you know, the quite thick and gloopy product to your lips, gloopy it sounds negative, but it's not. It's quite nice because it's sort of thick. Um, but when you're trying to apply it, it's sort of, you have to really push it and you feel like you're going to break it, which is not something I was a fan of. But I did like the formula nevertheless, so I would sort of maybe apply this with the lip brush. Okay, moving on to the pinks section. The first product you get in here is a very, very decent size of a Tarte... Um, lip Surgeons Power Pigments Pigment Intense Lip Crayon um, and this is in the colour Flush. Now when I got this unfortunately mine had been like squished away in the top um, and I've had problems with it ever since sort of just coming off in the lid and things like that not great. As you can see by the lip picture now, it is very pigmented. I was sort of looked at the top of this and thought it would be a light pink colour, but it turns out it's quite a deep um, red toned pink. Not my favourite colour and it's certainly not my favourite formula. This felt very, very waxy applying. It went a little bit patchy and it sort of sank into my lip lines and it didn't really work out for me. I am not the biggest fan of this. It sort of melted a lot. I think when I opened it, it melted a lot. So I don't know whether mine is sort of a, you know, one that went wrong sort of thing. Um, but it was not my favourite. And I certainly won't be buying any more from this line. All right, the next product I got in here, unfortunately, was a product I already own as well. This is the Too Faced Melted... Um, Melted Lipstick in uh, Melted Fuchsia. I actually already own this, if you guys seen back in my haul when I got the little kit of the Melted Lipstick, I got four of them in there and this happened to be one of them. But I'd never tried it since today. And it is so bright. Like the picture does not even show how bright it is. Um, it is extremely bright. Very excited about this in the summer. Since I've dyed my hair darker, I can wear pink lips and it looks really nice. I love the formula of these um, melted lipsticks. The applicator is so cool. The fact that it's like a little velvet sort of uh, applicator. I don't even know how to explain it. The way the finish of this product is like a soft focus lip 
which is really nice but I would say make sure you use a lip liner because it can look kind of bad when you try and soft focus around the edges this is certainly not one to use on the edges of your lips because it looks like you sort of like your lipsticks are fading out into your face and it's not a good look trust. Also the sample size you get is really great on that one. Okay the next one that really pisses me off. Um, the next product you get in here is a very very pretty little packaging of the Posy Balm by Benefit and I actually remember when this first came out I kind of really wanted it but I had so many lip balms I was like I'm not gonna spend that much on another lip balm. So I was very excited to see that I had a little one in here and I thought this is a great little size I can pop this in my purse you know and I can really enjoy it. Um, until I opened it and the product you, <laughs> the amount of product you get, guys, you know what, I'm going to come straight up close. Can you see how much product you get? It is an absolute joke. It is such beautiful packaging for the whole thing and then you open it up and you have like the tiniest amount of product. It is pathetic. And I think Benefit have really let themselves down here. That's a very big message when you see all these other brands giving really quite a lot of product and then this having like, I think it was like 0.01 grams of product in here. Something pathetic like that. Anyway, um, actually when I apply this to my lips it's extremely sheer but it was very, very moisturising and I actually did really like it. I, after having all those lipsticks on, my lips loved it. Believe me, I could feel my lips like sucking up the moisture, it was awesome. The next product in here I was super excited about because Brittany had recently recommended this brand to me while I was in the US and I had bought the double sided lipstick that I use religiously. Uh, this is a Bite Beauty lipstick and this is in Palomino which is a sort of fuchsia colour and I already know I absolutely love the formula of these lipsticks. It is very small but you do get quite a fair amount of product in there but the packaging is tiny but it's very very cute. Um, so something I'll say about the Bite Beauty lipsticks is their formula, their pigmentation is incredible but the only thing I have to question is when you first get the lipstick and you haven't used it it looks matte, like the whole lipstick looks matte, but the second you use it, it like melts and turns into like a glaze. So it's not the most attractive thing to have in a lipstick, but nevertheless, it is still a fabulous lipstick and it lasts a long time. And I'm very excited to have a brighter color from them because the two I have are nude. Um Okay, so the next product in here is one I was super duper excited about because it's a brand I've wanted to try forever and a day. It's been talked about so much on YouTube. It is the brand Fresh. And this is the Sugarberry um, Tinted Lip Treatment. And this is very exciting to me because I have so many lip balms so I never considered even buying one of these because I know they're very expensive for a lip balm. But you get so much product in this one, it is crazy. It has a very minimal um, tint to it, which is quite nice, but it has a little bit, so it's sort of nice to have in the summer. You're sort of outside and you don't wear too much makeup. Uh, I'm so, so one of the best ones in here that I got to try um, because it truly is something I've wanted to try for a while. The next product in here is, this is the Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint, but this is the original, not the one I've showed you before, which was the like intense color one. This is just a very light sort of version of it. It's very moisturizing. It reminds me a bit of the Benefit lip balm, obviously in a completely different form and a different colour. Um, and this does have fair colour payoff. I'm not a massive fan of the colour, it's sort of like a orangey brown and it's not my favourite colour. But I'm sure I can work with it underneath as sort of balm, sort of under base lip colour. You do get a fair amount of product in here as well, you actually get quite a lot. Um, and it's a beautiful little version of the actual full size. Alright, the next thing you get in here is super exciting to me because it's one of my favourite brands personally. It is by OCC and I have one product for them that I really do like but this one is a very, very dark colour. It does come with a little lip brush which I think is great. Um, it also says com Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. If you pour, push out a sort of a, not even a pea size amount, half a pea size amount of this and apply it to your lips, it is just a very dark, dark dark um, berry and it is like nothing I have because all the ones I have are true berries they're not that dark this is very very dark 
nearly verging on black with like red in it. It was a very deep blood colour. Finally going into the final four products in the red section. The next one I have to show you is the Sephora Rouge Infusion um, Lip product. Oh, it just says made in Italy. I didn't notice that. And this is sort of a lip cream in a sense. This reminded me a lot, a lot of the L'Oreal, um, what were they called? Caress lip stains. And I originally had bought all of those lip stains because I love the packaging. Pathetic, I know. But um, I bought them all and I had them in my collection for a really long time and I basically never used them. So this reminds me a lot of that product. So if you are a fan of the Caress lip stains, then you will like this because it comes off, um, it's in a little doe foot applicator and it comes off where it sort of looks like a stain, but it sort of dries and gets a little bit tacky. Um, so I wasn't the biggest fan and also the colour is, I don't like it, it's sort of a orangey brown red. Not my cup of tea. At all. Um, so I certainly need to find a new home for this because I won't be using it. The next product in here, super excited about, it is the Kat Von D. Um, what are these even called? Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I sort of debated getting one of these when I was in the US as well and thank goodness I didn't because um, I actually got to try this one out and it is incredible. <laughs> the pigmentation is out of this world, the way it applies the actual applicator is great, it's very sturdy, it gives me a good sort of um, gauge of how to do it. It lasts like you would not believe. I had to scrub it off my lips and by the end of it I was like oh my lips because it was trying to get red off of my face as well. Uh, but definitely if you're going somewhere and you need red lips to last, this is your baby. The next thing in here is a Laura Mercier lip colour and this is in Red Amour. Um, and this is a really lovely red, I do have to say. It's sort of your run-of-the-mill red, but the formula is great, it's something I really like. It's very bright, it's very comparable to Gerard Cosmetics um, lipstick in Fire Engine. Um, it's a tiny bit more sheer than that, but it is very comparable. The formula is beautiful, it doesn't have any smell to it whatsoever, which is also good in my opinion. I love the little packaging, I just think it's cute as a little square. Okay, we have come down to the final product here, and this final product is Hourglass Lip Cream, and this really is small. It is very, very, very small, but in Hourglass's defense, when I was in Sephora, um, and they had sort of the checkout section where they have all the minis. They were actually selling this size for like a certain amount of money and it was like I think five dollars or something like that. They were selling this size, maybe two of them, for like five dollars or ten dollars or whatever it was. A little kit. I can't really remember but I just remember they were selling these and I said to Brittany, I was like, oh my god, they are so small. And she was like, but you need the tiniest, tiniest bit of them so don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, I love this product. It's Oh my god, it's pigmentation. It's absolutely comparable to the Kat Von D. Um, however, this one dries completely matte. The only thing I dislike about this is the applicator, and I think it's probably because it is in such a small, um, small little tube. It's really hard for me to pull out, and I'm worried I'm going to break it. And also, because it is so pigmented, you need a lot of control. But the, this applicator does not offer that control. It's very movable, um, it's very flexible the end of it, and that's not great when you're trying to apply red. Uh, so definitely use a lip liner along with possibly a lip brush. But I do like the little velvet at the end. I think it's comfortable, but it's nice for filling in sort of the center, but don't try and line your lips with it because it is not fun. So guys, that was it for my Sephora favourites Give Me More Lip review. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was informative and I do hope that they are still there for you guys to purchase. Um, but yeah, it's a great kit overall. The only thing right now is storage. Um, in my collection, you guys know I have the Mujis. You can sort of see a little bit back here. Um, I have the Mujis and I have sort of full size lipsticks in there. So I'm finding a really hard finding it really really hard to try and store these guys um, so I've just been keeping it in this box in my palette drawer and reaching for it and I think that's a fine way but if you do, guys do have this kit let me know how you're storing them because I'm finding it a bit hard to store them at the moment but nevertheless uh, yeah I hope you guys had a great day today have a great day tomorrow um, a great winter a great whatever season it is for you good night good morning goodbye <laughs> and I will see you all in my next video guys have a great one ciao